Okay, I'm a little bit late to the party, but today I want to talk about the fact that Halo Infinite isn't going to have Forge or Co-op at launch. And apparently Co-op is coming with Season 2 of the game, and that will be Quarter 1 2022. And Forge is coming Season 3, I think, and that's Quarter 2 2022, assuming they don't get you know delayed again. And I, I wasn't going to make a video about this because I saw lots of people were making videos and the opinions were very heated. And I wasn't sure that we could have a, a sensible conversation about it. But then I saw that Destin Legary had put up a poll on Twitter and asked what people thought. And the question he asked, and you can see it up on your screen now, is do you care if Halo Infinite has co-op and forge at launch? And I thought the results were really interesting because we got 41.1% said yes and 58.0% said no. Or sorry, 58.9% said no. And that was from 31,259 votes. And that surprised me because I thought that yes would be the overwhelming answer. And so it kind of gave me hope that people were maybe thinking this through a bit more, although <laughs> yes and no is in and of itself polarised. But my, my personal opinion on this is it doesn't really bother me. I actually voted no on this, but it's a bit more nuanced than that. Uh, as you can see here, I actually put in my own reply and I said it's not an issue for me personally but I still think it's a problem how big a problem will only be apparent once the game drops I do think Covid has had an impact on the game though when they promised co-op for launch they couldn't have known that Covid would go on this long I'm not sure that many people thought that Covid would go on this long I think I was one of the few people saying this is going to last a long time and it, actually if you watched a lot of the uh professionals they were saying the same thing but I think a lot of people were at least hoping that it wouldn't go on for so long and I do think it has had an impact on this game and other games as well we've seen a whole host of games being delayed however <laughs> however 343 did promise last year that the game would launch with Forge, well, with Co-op at least. I'm not sure about Forge. I was trying to see if they'd promised Forge, but they'd certainly promised Co-op and Split Screen at launch. Now, we're getting Split Screen at launch, but not Co-op. So you can play against each other in Split Screen at launch, apparently, but you can't play Co-op at launch. And some of the reasons behind this are that yeah, it's a sort of semi-open world game, and it's a lot more difficult to implement co-op than it would have been on a more linear game. And, and I understand that. And, you know, they've obviously had to deal with the slip space engine as well. That was obviously a big undertaking in and of itself. So pile on COVID on top of that. And then you're going to see that, you know, they, they were really struggling, I, I would imagine, to, to get this game out with all the different elements. But going back to what I said just a minute ago, minute ago, this is an article from Games Radar on July 23rd, 2020. And uh, this is actually an article that, that um, Destin Legary mentioned himself in, in his own video, or maybe two videos, actually. Uh, and this is interesting. Halo Infinite will have split-screen co-op at launch, reaffirms 343 Industries. And this was an article by Josh, Josh West. And um, <clears throat> it was, uh, I think it was Chris Lee who, yeah, it says here, Chris Lee. He says, we will have split screen and we will have co-op when we launch Halo Infinite. So, and, and it says here, if you look above that, it says, head Chris Lee was emph emphatic in his confirmation we will have split screen and we will have co-op at launch. So for me, that's the problem. It's not the problem so much that they're not going to be there. As I say, forge and co-op, not such a big thing for me. I would have liked to have played co-op a bit with my lad, but we wouldn't have played through the whole game. He would have played it for a bit and then he would have gone back to Minecraft and Rocket League and all the other games he actually really likes. He's not a big Halo fan. He'll play it. 
but it's not a big thing for him. So for me personally, I'd have played through the campaign and I still will play through the campaign on my own and that's fine. But I do understand that other people have a different approach and, you know, traditionally way back to the original Halo, uh, Halo Combat Evolved, people were playing it co-op. So uh, there's that. But anyway, I never played (laughs) co-op. I don't think up until fairly recently with my lad. I used to play against people, but never really played co-op. But um, they did actually, if we we look here, they did actually consider delaying Halo Infinite again, like has happened with many other games. And um, let me see if I can see what they said. Um, Yeah, it says here, this is Joseph Staten, who came in to take over, uh, uh, you know, Halo development. And it says... Yeah, I mean, we talked about delaying, Staten said, but uh, where we landed was, you know, Halo Infinite is a live game, so it isn't ever ever really done. Excuse me. You know what I mean. It's going to progress and evolve from season to season. We talk about launch being the beginning of that journey, but to have a beginning, you need to pick a moment and actually begin. And I get what he's saying here, and I think that Forge... Yeah, okay, that's not such a big problem. I think that adding Forge after after launch, fine. People can play through the campaign, they can play a bit of multiplayer, and then they can drop into Forge a bit later on. I don't think that would be such a big deal. And I think if we go back to this poll, I, I, I think the poll probably represents that opinion a bit more. I think that, I mean, I'm only guessing here, but I think that maybe people are more concerned with not having co-op at launch than they are with Forge. And and if you disagree with me on that, let me know in the comments. That's fine. You know, everyone's got different opinions on this. And again, that's fine. I just don't, I don't understand people getting so angry and upset and shouting at each other over these things. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, going back to what Staten said, though, I... I <laughs> Again, it's all very well saying this is a live game and everything, but but not having co-op at launch. You can't play through the campaign and then go and play... Well, you can play through the campaign and then go back and play through the campaign again in co-op. And, and maybe that will be altered slightly because it's semi-open world, so things will be... Excuse me. Things will be slightly different maybe with the second playthrough. Maybe they'd be slightly different when you go through and you play it in co-op. But you have played through the campaign, so it's not going to be the same experience. So, as I say, for me, for me, I can understand why people would be a bit upset about co-op. Not quite so sure why people would be upset about Forge, because I think that's one that that could very easily be added later on. Um, (laughs) It's it's a strange one, though, and and I... as I say, I keep saying this, but I, I think that COVID-19 had a big effect. I do think that when you are developing a new engine, that's going to be a big undertaking in and of itself. And I do think we've had a perfect storm here that's led to this. I, I think the delay last year was the right thing to do. I think what they're doing this time, I think they've been kind of forced into doing it because of what they could get out. And I think that, that trying to get the core game out on time, certainly on time with after the original delay, on time this year, when they've said it's going to actually come this year, I think getting it out is probably more important at this stage. I, I do think that Staten is, is right to some extent here, that they do need to get this game out this year. I I would be fine with it being delayed a little bit longer. I'm not sure everyone would, and I and I think it might have a negative knock-on effect on the game if they delayed it again. So if they can put out <laughs> multiplayer and the campaign, and they do drop and they are good or, or better than good, then I think that's fine. You know, as I say, I think co-op it would have been ideal to have co-op included. But I think it will be okay. The problem will be is if the reasons for these delays go beyond COVID and go beyond the other reasons I've given, like, you know, the development of the Slipspace engine and all the rest of it. 
And if there's problems behind the scenes and things aren't working as they should be, then we could have the game drop and it could still have issues. And if that's the case, then delaying these elements of the game will become more of an issue. And it, and, and people will start to ask questions about what's going on at 343. For now, though, personally, I don't think this is a huge deal. To repeat what I said before, I think co-op would have been ideally included at launch. But for now, if you look at the game, co uh, <laughs> multiplayer and campaign, it's kind of more than a lot of games give us anyway at launch. So while I don't like the live service idea anyway, <laughs> I did this. It's a, I mean, basically saying it's a live service game. While I don't really like live service games anyway, it is what it is. And I tentatively think that the game will probably drop and it'll be okay. And I think it'll be fun. I don't think Microsoft will allow it. This is a bit like saying a, game's, a, a team's too good to get relegated. But I don't think that Microsoft will allow it to ship if they think that it's not going to be up to a certain standard. I don't think they can they can afford to do that. They've done that with games in the past. <laughs> and uh, I'll let you think about which games they are. But I don't think they can afford to do that this time. And uh, as I say, I think this is interesting. I think, yes, <laughs> yes, no. Do people care if Halo Infinite has co-op and Forge at launch? That surprised me. That number surprised me. Uh, it is what it is, though. We will get the main game. And uh, <laughs> co-op isn't going to be there and Forge isn't going to be there. And hopefully there'll be enough for us to enjoy. And then when they do drop, we can enjoy those too. I won't play Forge anyway, but I know a lot of people do enjoy it. But anyway, that's uh, my take. <laughs> I could be wrong, as ever. And if I am, let me know in the comments. Or if you agree with me, or, you know, if you agree on some of what I've said and disagree on other things that I've said, let me know about that as well. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>